Well, we've been looking at structures in Scotland over about a week now, and in the last couple of days particularly, we've seen examples of ductile deformation, and indeed in, in some outcrops, we've seen evidence for more than one phase of ductile deformation. And don't forget that back at Knock and Crag, uh, there we could see um, evidence for early ductile deformation in the Marlinites, and the deformation had, had to have gone on long enough for the rocks to have cooled, to have become close enough to the surface, to, for the, the last stage of the deformation to have become brittle. So we required quite a long period of time over which those, those rocks could have deformed. And if, if we add to the structure, structural information we've been gathering some ge geochronological data, then we know, at least from work going on in Ireland, that there was an arc continent collision about 460 million years ago, that's the mid-order vision, and that probably initiated the deformation and metamorphism we see in the inner zone. Mm -hmm. And we also know from work done on the Moyne thrust that uh, that thrust was active considerably more recently in the late Silurian to early Devonian, about 420 to 400 million years ago. So that, there's been orogenic events going on over a period of 60 million years. Mm. Which is very much the same order of time period as we see in other younger orogenic belts. In the Alps, for example, there's good evidence that collision had initiated by the mid-Cretaceous by 70 plus million years. That's when uh, events had started and there was still deformation progressing um, at five, six million years ago. So very much the same magnitude of time period. And in the Himalaya, we know that the collision was initiated 50 million years ago and the mountain building still going on today. So once mm -hmm. again, that's a 50 million year old time span in which the orogenies evolve. Well, with that time period available then, it, it really isn't surprising that we see numbers of structures superimposed on top of one another. In this video, we have examined structures from the Scottish segment of the Caledonian Orogenic Belt. We have used them to unravel the kinematics and the chronology of deformation. Like other orogenic belts, the Caledonian Belt has experienced deformation over long periods of time, overprinting the effects of earlier events. The results are often complex. But by looking at structures recorded by grain shapes, small outcrops and even whole mountain sides, we can unravel the sequence of events that cause deformation and mountain building.